Sir, yeah. can you tell me where I'd find a bastard file? Yeah. I don't even know why they call it that. I saw it on YouTube. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I don't know if the file is have a bastard or not. <laughs> yeah, I saw it on YouTube. They said, you want a bastard file. All right. What they know is a bastard file? Yeah. They are? Yeah. There they are? Thank you. What makes it a bastard file? It says it on the package? Yeah, that's good. Well, that's good for labeling. Yeah, at least a good branding. That's right. <laughs>Hey, what's up guys and good morning. So after last week's video, a lot of you guys were giving me some flack saying, ow, you can't be sodding, you're the lawn care nut. You can't do that, that's the easy way out. The easy way out. And you know what guys, you're exactly right. I definitely can't go with sod because that's the easy way out because anybody that's ever sodded a lawn knows that's super simple. Oh, it's so easy. The labor involved, easy. Of course, I'm kidding just to try to be funny. But no, really, I am gonna do plugs. The challenge I have is, is that the type of St. Augustine that I'm looking for just isn't available in plugs. In fact, the only plugs I can really get are Floritam, which is a great St. Augustine. It's, it's probably one of the most frequently planted St. Augustine grasses in Florida and probably most of the Southeast, but it's just not what I want. So I've gotta find a way to get plugs in the cultivar that I want, and my solution is to make my own. So the way I'm gonna accomplish that is to actually make plugs from sod, and I'm gonna do it in this spot right here in my backyard as a practice. So some of you might remember this area here. It's back behind my fence. Right on the other side over there is my Bermuda grow. So I've kind of just let this go. I do have two lemon trees here and we're running these lemon trees 100% organic. But this is a great area to do a test bed with the St. Augustine because St. Augustine will do a little bit better in shade than what the Bermuda would. In fact, it'll do a lot better. So I'll be all right here. So of course, the first thing I need to do then is eliminate all the weeds in there. And again, since we're going organic, I'm gonna go ahead and do it the fun way. Now, some of you may notice I'm actually fighting a cold. My eyes are watering, itchy, runny, all that kind of stuff. But you know what? I'm a trooper and I've got Dayquil, who's not a sponsor by the way, but Dayquil will keep me going through this video. By the way, I have also started the rehab in the main part of the lawn over there. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to irrigate for a good seven to ten days straight because I've got to go ahead and get any weed seeds that are in the soil to germinate. That's very important that I do that. Water deeply for seven to ten days and get as many weeds to come up as possible because otherwise they're going to come up later. But I'll go ahead and include that in the steps when I actually do the rehab on that side of the lawn. So for now, just letting you know that is in the works. So that's what this video is all about how to make plugs from sod and then plant them successfully in sugary, sandy Florida soils. So with that, let's go get some sod. Don't try this at home kids, I only did this because it just looks stupid on video. So I've got my sod now and I've got a couple other things that I'll introduce to you in a minute. But before I do that, I've got to prepare this area because as you can see, it's overrun with weeds. But now keep in mind, I run this area organic, so I've gotta clean it up before I put in the plugs, but how do I do it without using any chemicals? Well, I do it the fun way. Now, burning weeds this way, it actually takes a long time. But to me, it's kind of therapeutic, relaxing even. So I just kind of get into the zone and enjoy the death and destruction. Now this torch is actually kind of small for this big of a job. I'll link below in the description though to some other torches that would work if you had a larger job to do. Or of course I'll link to the video where I actually reviewed this particular weed burner. Uh, I think 
maybe a year or two ago, but I'll link to that below. In the meantime, are you enjoying yourself? This break is in no way, shape, or form sponsored by Voss Water, but it probably should be Voss. Why don't you call me? guys so check this out i actually bought this yard butler plugger thing on amazon it was like 30 bucks they are not a sponsor i don't even know who they are i literally did five minutes of searching on amazon and i found this and i like the way that it's set up it's got a square hole digger which seems to be perfect for plugs and that's really what it's for now there's a lot of different uses for this i think a lot of people actually use this to transplant existing grass to other areas. So if you've got a healthy section of grass, you use this to pull a plug of that healthy grass out and transplant it somewhere else, which is an awesome idea and something I plan to do in the future. But I don't have any good grass, so that's not gonna work for me now. I'm actually getting it to dig nice, clean, square holes that I can set plugs in. Now, the reason I'm sharpening it is I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and use this to also cut my plugs from the sod. It makes sense. It's logical to think that if I am going to dig this square hole in this certain size, that I should go ahead and create a plug from the sod that is the exact same size, right? That's logical. You're going to find out, though, that probably wasn't the best idea. But I tried it anyway, so you don't have to. And so the first thing I had to do was sharpen it. I really just like to modify tools because it makes me look like I'm crafty, creative, and awesome. Plus, I really just wanted to go to Home Depot and say the word bastard in a public setting and not get in trouble for it. All right, the wind's died down a little bit, so I'm gonna try to do some live commentary here. So I have got the plugger prepared. I've got it sharpened up. Now I've gotta do just a little bit more prep here to the ground, and then we're gonna get started. Okay, so I could tell almost right away that this wasn't really gonna work. Having to stomp on this like this to cut the sod is just not practical. There's no way that this would work. There are some other problems that I discovered when I started doing this, but we'll talk about those later. But before I was ready to give up on my idea of creating plugs from sod, I decided to try a better way of cutting the sod. One that's a little bit easier, still a lot of fun, and does a lot better job. So here's the deal, whether you make your plugs by using that yard butler tool, which I'm telling you is not an easy thing to do, or you use a machete, which is much easier to cut the sod, there's still an inherent problem here. Notice how I have to almost fill the holes entirely back in. Yeah, I'm throwing some malorganite in there, and I've got the peat moss that's mainly for moisture retention, but you'll notice I have to fill the hole almost completely back in. And that's exactly the reason why sod into plugs doesn't work. So here, let me take a minute here and show you some real plugs and show you what the advantage of buying actual plugs is as opposed to trying to make your own from a piece of sod. 
All right, so let's go ahead and just take a look at the difference between plugs and sod. By the way, safety tip, you should never use a machete when you're wearing flip-flops. The intended purpose of sod is to have one job. Sod, you have one job, just one job. And you gotta realize that sod's intent is to be installed butting up several pieces of sod butting up, right? All against it. So it's a complete lawn when it's input. And that's important because then sod's one job is to develop a root system. Because as you can see, most of its roots have been taken away. There are some roots in here, but when they bring in a sod cutter at the nursery to cut this out, they're literally cutting off a good half to three quarters of the root structure. Now we have enough green here and we have enough stored energy that it's gonna be able to go ahead and push roots or push a new root system, no problem. But what that doesn't allow though is any energy for it to send out runners in all directions. So you kind of defeat the purpose of sod when you change it into plugs. So let me explain why. In order to truly understand this, you have to understand how St. Augustine itself is going to spread and thicken. And to do that, we can look at these plugs. So here's a plug, right? And this has a complete root system. What that means is, when you put this in the ground, it doesn't have to spend energy or time or anything creating more roots. The way that St. Augustine actually spreads is through runners. It does them underground and it does them above ground. And you can see that these runners, they shoot out and they shoot off. And as they do that in all different directions, it thickens up. It can spend all of its energy creating more runners, which is gonna thicken up the lawn quicker. So here I've got an actual plug of Palmetto St. Augustine. And then here's a plug that I created from the sod. So if I was to put these side by side and get them to grow, this one is gonna have a lot to do before it can spread. This one is immediately ready to spread. This one here is gonna to have to spend most of its energy creating a root system, whereas this one's already got a built-in root system because it's a plug, it was grown in trays, it's ready to go and start spreading. So is it possible then to go ahead and plug your yard using pieces of sod? Yes, of course it is, but it's gonna slow down your results. So you're gonna pay a little bit less for the pieces of sod, cutting them up and all that and creating these plugs, but again, this is gonna spread slower than these plugs, which are ready to go right out of the box. So it's worth it actually to pay a little bit more to essentially get that root system. Now we will actually be able to prove this theory out because this area here, this was planted, by the time I'm filming this now, this was planted five days ago, is these are plugs that were planted here. And you can actually see some of the plugs are already beginning to send out some runners here and there. So that area there is plugs. This area over here are plugs created from sod. Now these are planted a lot closer together, um, but that's what all of these are in here. So what we'll be able to do is kind of watch and see how this area fills in as opposed to this area here. All right, so there you go, guys. <clears throat> I have no idea what I look like. I'm sure I look like hell, but all finished. Uh, you know, a few things I didn't like about this, but this was kind of experimental, and it's going to help me to understand how I want to do the rest of the lawn when I do that. So we're going to watch this grow for a little while while I start working on the other pieces of the lawn over there. As always, thanks for joining me. I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut, and I'll see you in the lawn.